Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use this reading to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of. Today, I am going to be pulling some initials. I have my initials bowl and I have tarot cubes. I have miniature tarot um, uh, little you know, cards. <laughs> and we're going to be doing that. And I also pulled out my charm. So I'm going to pull some charms, see if we can get some additional messages through my charms today. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful spirit has guided you here. Please take with you what connects to you. Leave the rest for everyone else. Claim it, own it. It's yours. Let's see what spirit wants you to know today. Love coming towards you, connecting to somebody in your life already. Spirit, what is it that you want us to hear? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have consciousness, victim mentality. Yeah, that's something that we all struggle with. You know, you've got somebody um, in your life who says, you know, poor me, poor me. Um, you know what? Get up, go to work like the rest of us. Uh, you don't want to be drawing, drawing your, drawing yourself to that kind of energy because it drags you down. You know, it's the person who can't pick themselves up. It's the person who everybody else is to blame for where they are in their life or their circumstances of their life. So you don't want to surround yourself with the person who's always playing victim because it's just such a draining uh, vampire energy, sucking um, energy. So stay away from that. You are deserving of more. Look at this. It's like, yeah, don't, don't, you know, just lift yourself up high because you are trying to live a life of fulfillment. You're trying to live a life of destiny, spirit just said, a life of hope and happiness. And you know that it takes hard work. You know that you have to constantly be working on healing yourself and you have to keep lifting yourself up and, and it's not anybody else's fault that that you know things are happening to you i have status quo okay so now that's coming into me as moving your energy that maybe it's time that spirit shifted your energy that we are i don't i don't like the word stuck or blocked but because i feel like we're always in constant motion but sometimes we have to propel that motion. We have to take action. We have to change our energy. We have to change our routine. We have to change who we see in our day or where we're putting our energy. So maybe it's some, some way of spirit saying today you have to take some action um, in order to push your energy um, in the direction of where you want to go. So let's see what the cards are saying. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful that you're here. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment, comment below. Let's see what we have today. Spirit, please share with me. I have a three of swords, this victim mentality that's right in alignment with it. You know, okay. If you had a heartbreak, I'm not belittling the heartbreak. But at some point, you have to say to yourself, I deserve more and I'm going to pick myself up and I'm going to move on because this person was not worthy of my love. They did you a favor. OK, if they walked away, they ended it. They hurt you in any way. They did you a favor because it allows you to be available to what God really has for you. So that is how I want you to look at it. I want you to look at it as you know what? I know something's better. Here's this beautiful King of Cups coming in, this, this unconditional love. I love you deeply. I love you with all my soul, they just said. So this feeling of, of somebody who loves you, you know, like a deep, you know, this is a deeper connection that that's what you wanted. And obviously, whoever broke your heart wasn't a deeper connection because they wouldn't have broken your heart. They wouldn't have they wouldn't have walked away. They wouldn't have ended things if that's the case or you wouldn't have wanted to end things. I have a queen of swords. You made the right decision. You're looking towards your future. You're strong. I almost feel like you're a warrior. You know, like I feel like this is a warrior energy. And then, yeah, you're and en you're entering into just another chapter of your life. So we go through these ups and downs. We all do. 
there's no rhyme or reason to, you know, there's no such thing as like every three years or every seven years. It's, it's all in divine timing, but it's always about you moving forward and seeing what's best for you. And I think that that's something that you have to learn to live with that when you make a decision right or wrong, there's no, no right or wrong. There's always the best choice at the time and spirit will guide you with the choices that there's never any resentment for the past. There's no regret for the past. And you're always kind of looking at what's in your best interest, what makes you secure, what makes you emotionally secure, what makes you financially secure. I have energy moving towards you at a very quick pace right now. And spirit is asking you to be more open to receive it. So there's a, a feeling of, I know I'm confident. I know that I am deserving. I know that I, I know my worth. And then this energy comes racing at you and you don't know what to do with it. You struggle with now, what do I do? Let's get a couple more messages. It's a, yeah, this energy is rushing. Okay. I feel like it's rushing towards you. I don't, my, it, I feel like it catches you off guard to tell you the truth. I feel like it's almost a, um, I wasn't expecting this, but I, I feel like this love catches you off guard and something there's something about um, there's something about this energy that either you just weren't expecting it, it, it just came in out of nowhere, something like that. I, I want to keep going, but we're going to see um, what else they're saying. Let's grab some let's grab some. Um, Let's grab some car, uh, some dice, okay? We're going to get some initials. Let's get the initials going. So I've got this big bowl of initials, and I'm going to I'm going to try to get a big handful. <laughs> it's a little difficult, but I'm going to try to get a big handful. So we're going to do this, and oops, I'm going to get that one that jumped out, and I'm going to do this. So I've got lots of initials and probably multiple initials i'm sure so take take what connects to you if you don't see your person's initials don't worry about it this is just you know an exercise of what's in the universe or what could be in the universe let's start with the dice so we have a king of swords somebody who's speaking his mind somebody who isn't afraid to speak his mind i i really like that with an ace of cups so somebody who comes forward this is somebody who maybe catches you off guard that says, you know, in a very short period of time, I have feelings for you. I can't believe I'm falling for you so quickly. Um, I'm not afraid to tell you that I'm falling for you. So it maybe it catches you off guard. Maybe you're not used to people expressing their feelings. But at the same time, I feel that it's working well. I feel that there's a sense, I always like to think that you have a sense of peace when you're with the right person. I don't care if it's that we're sitting in the same room and we don't have to talk to each other, but we feel each other's presence and it just feels good. But it's a feeling of peace. It's a feeling of I'm where I'm supposed to be. And this just came into me, my magician, as I like everything about you. They could be noticing things about you, like they're looking at all these different things that have are beautiful qualities in you. Okay, that are more along the lines of, I love your personality. I love how you interact with people. I love how kind you are, caring. I love how affectionate you are. So I feel like this magician is, is they're looking at you with like all that you have to offer. And I, I feel like that's beautiful. Let's get these letters. I have the letter E, I have a couple letter E. So let me just put these together. I have an I. I have an A today. I have an M. I have another E, lots of E's. I have a B, U, first initial, last initial, R's. Maybe sometimes we spell or we get both initials. This is an L. I have another A. I have a another R, so we'll put these together. I have the letter S today. I have another E. Wow, look at these E's. <laughs> and I have an N. So we'll take those as some clues. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to hear today. 
spirit, please share with me any, any guidance in this connection or any guidance that I should be thinking about at this time on this day. What is it that you want me to know? Uh, key to a heart, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. How about that? How about the, I've got the key to your heart. You know, I mean, it sounds so simple, but this love charges in somehow. And what did they say to me a minute ago? Caught you, it catches you off guard, they said. So, and all of a sudden, this person, I feel like is expressing their feelings and saying things like, this is deeper than I felt for anybody, maybe ever, uh, or at least in a very long time. So you are already capturing their heart. You've got the key. <laughs> I feel like you were the secret door. You were the secret door that they had to find a karmic relationship. Okay, letting go, um, letting go of some old triggers, letting go of some old energy, not going back to it's coming into me as like not going back to a cycle that I have been um, I have been working through that that's not an option for some of you that I'm really going to be more open to this new beginning so a karmic cycle I feel like is is ended and like really ended this time uh, photographs looking at photos of you making new memories maybe somebody's checking out your Instagram social medias now that they've met you, they're kind of looking you up. They want to see who you hang out with, what you do, anything about you. I mean, I think we all do that. It's kind of like um, stalking, but not quite. But I think we all do that. And then a mirror, a mirroring each other, a sense of, I don't know if it's necessarily a twin flame connection as much as maybe we have this beautiful energy of, I see a lot in you that I see in myself. Maybe you have a lot of uh, commonality or um, you like have the same interests um, that you have the same um, opinions on certain topics something like that and there is I'm going to go with this this bottom of the deck so this person is giving you a sense of stability and permanence I love this and, and flexibility because a palm tree of course I live in Florida you guys know that and when the storms come in, I mean, they sway and then they, you know, it's amazing that how much they can sway with the wind um, and they can handle that, you know, that storm. So that tells me that there's a sense of stability. There's a sense of groundedness in this connection. I, I love I'm loving that. Let's see what else spirit is saying to me. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you have? I have a two of pentacles that came into me as letting them in that you have time and energy to let them in. You, sometimes we feel that we have just too much on our plate and almost a feeling of like weighing the pros and cons. You know, do I want to be do I want to be in a relationship with somebody? It would be nice. But do I really want it? Do I want to have to put a whole bunch of energy and time into somebody and it takes me away from doing things that I like to do or my normal routine. So a little bit of a weighing the pros and cons. I have a king of pentacles. There's the sense of stability, somebody who has a stable. Here's my magician. Now, the magician's coming into me. First, it came into me with this person looking at you and seeing all these wonderful things about you that they value. Now it's coming into me as going back to this pros and cons, you're starting to realize how much value this person and I love look at the infinity signs just kind of jumping out at me. So this feeling of this person is has something to offer. And there's a, a feeling of uh, every day I get to know them, I learn a little bit more about them. And, and maybe I like them more, maybe I love them more because of it. So, um, you know, little little things about them are being revealed, you know, slowly. And I feel like we're going to get further and further away from, you know, pros and cons to there's more cons, you know, to be with this person than there is saying no to this kind of energy. I have a six of swords. So, yeah, here's the feeling of do I walk away because some of you think you want to be in a relationship. And then when that relationship's put in front of you and you have to make a hard decision about changing your life. Some of you say, I don't know if I'm really ready for that. And you do say, I want to keep looking. I want to keep moving on. 
Now these little dragonflies, I've never noticed these dragonflies on this, um, I guess this is a canoe, uh, that those are jumping out at me today. See the little row of dragonflies? So maybe it's somebody who has a dragonfly tattoo or somebody that, I don't know, we see dragonflies. Maybe that's gonna connect to somebody today. Let's see what else they're saying. Yeah, I really feel like this is spirit's way of saying, of course, you're always going to have a choice. I think this person charges towards you very quickly out of nowhere and they catch you off guard and you may immediately put up your guard. You may immediately start evaluating the pros and cons of allowing this to start. But right now, Spirit just said, you have nothing to fear. You have nothing to fear. Bottom of my deck is temperance. It could be a very beautiful, peaceful connection for you. And maybe it brings you more comfort than it brings you, uh, you know, any kind of, you know, don't look at it as a relationship as a burden. Maybe it brings you more comfort. It brings you more peace in your life that you have this, you know, beautiful, beautiful new friendship or beautiful new person in your life. Let's see what the charms are saying today. I'm going to get a, I have a scoop. Now I have been, this is a new bowl for me of charms. I've been collecting some new charms. So there's a lot of charms in here I haven't even used yet. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of having fun with these new charms because they're, I don't know, they're just new. <laughs> they're just new. How's that? Um, new anything is fun, right? All right, so we've got some houses. This this came into me as a, this is definitely a house. I thought this was a house upside down. Look at, it's like, I, it came into me as two houses. So let's just start with that intuitively, okay? So we have two houses and then when I turned it over, it was a letter, like a letter of love. And then, so then it comes into one house. So that tells me that we're gonna go from two houses to one. And I like the butterfly, this transformation happening. I have a Leo energy. Don't worry about the signs. It could be a lot of different signs. We just happen to have a Leo clue. I have a rabbit with a time clock. So that is coming into me like an Alice in Wonderland kind of a fantasy energy. So it's just a matter of time is how I feel. I have a heart with a wing, an angel wing. I like that. I have um, a lion also. So I'm going to put that with my Leo energy. So strong Leo energy today. I have a teddy bear. This person maybe is very affectionate. Maybe they love to hold you, hug you. I'm not sure what I'm feeling with this. I, I just, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to put this over here because I'm not picking up anything on that right now. I've got a beautiful crown, so treating you very well. I always like that energy. Now, I have a, a starfish, so but it's coming into me as the shore, okay? Whether it's a trip to a beach, it's a trip to, um, they're saying somewhere, you know, like, like the Caribbean, they're saying blue seas. So I'm going to say somewhere that has blue water, very blue aqua water. So the Caribbean is coming to mind. So I feel like that could be a vacation, could be a honeymoon, something along those lines. I have a broom and the broom is coming into me as sweeping out the old and in with the new, just sweeping out the clutter, okay? Decluttering your mind, decluttering your home, decluttering your energy. So sweeping out the old to allow the new. I have a great, so that's coming into me as fruition. I think this is a grape. All right, now it's looking like a pine cone. I'm going to go with both. <laughs> it looked like grapes to me in fruition. Now it's looking as a pine cone to me. So a pine cone to me is putting down roots, the beginning of a tree, um, planting, planting a life. So something like that going on. So I'm going to put that over here with my house. Maybe we buy a house and we have to put some landscaping in and we get to decide and we watch the trees grow over years. And then I have a fox, somebody who is clever, somebody who is trying to catch you. And they said they catch you off guard. So this feeling of somehow I'm going to win your heart. So something along those lines. Thank you, Spirit, for those uh, clues. Those are awesome. 
And let's get some final love messages. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you need me to know about this connection? What is it that you want me to, to hear? I know we are soulmates. I want to go back to this key to the heart. I feel like your person is not afraid to share their emotions. And I feel that they may not come out and say, I think you're my soulmate. That's not really how we talk. But they could say, I've never loved anyone the way I love you. And this just feels deeper than anything that I've ever had. So that is something to look forward to. Or if this has come into your life, please claim it. Please own it. It is yours. Uh, you are the love of my life. Absolutely. You are the love of my life. You are my best friend, my lover. So there's that friendship coming into your life. I'm grateful for. I've had feelings for you longer than you know. So this could be somebody that's already in your energy. I'm afraid to get hurt. I'm healing old wounds. I feel like that's you more than them. I feel that's something that that back and forth or weighing the pros and cons. I feel like that's more on your side. So take a look at that. And I will be calling you soon. I love that. I love that. So I want the person who's going to call me. <laughs> That's what I want. So no doubt in my mind that this is a love that is on a deeper soul connection. So let's put this out into the universe. Let's claim this. Um, you know, you can manifest something in the comments that, that connected with you today. But let's claim it. Let's own it. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.